back out. This time, had a haircut. <laughs> it was a bit too short, I think. I was looking in the mirror, thank God. Anyway, I'm out again. I change the catchphrase, make it mount. Mount. So we're going to go along this wall, which was made by Roman bricklayers in the uh, dot, I think. Oh, it's zero, it's 2000 years old. So I, it was zero. <laughs> And we're going to go in search of the mythical oak tree, Robin Hood's oak tree at Sycamore Gap. I don't think it exists. I think it was just done in the film. So we're going to go and see if we can find that. The oak tree at Sycamore Gap. The Roman wall. It's amazing though, how straight it is. More on that later. We've got to climb up there now. There it is. Amazing. There's your camping pitch. Over there. Just here. Sure, you could get away with it. Like if you come late and went early, don't leave any mess or trace. Yeah, all right, man. Busy here. I think that's where Gareth and Zoe were. Gareth and Zoe, check out their channel. Ten thousand subscribers. Boosh. Nice one. It's Mile Castle 39 this. It's all up and down. It's downhill. And it's up. It's not good if you've uh, if you've got dodgy knees. It's not good for your knees this. You are a lot of up and downs. Um hi Gareth and Zoe. See they put a lot of work into their channel. You can tell they put a lot into it. Entertaining, funny, yeah. Huh? And educational, I think. One thing I learned. Uh, there's not to eat tofu, so I learned that. Um, but yeah, I just throw my videos up. Me, I edit them as I'm filming. So I film this, switch it off, like leave a little pause, and then switch it off, and then I just put a transition in and just link them all together. Unless I do some walking past the camera, you just do a little trim. I'm sure this is where Dave's while camping and Kilburn is camped pitched here because I remember they were cooking in here, cooking in the kitchen. Anyway, I'm going to push on. So dead busy. Oh, so it's really busy. I've come all the way down that hill there. It's a leg break a lot. That's dodgy, sketchy as old. And there, it is real. I thought it was imaginary. I thought it was just a prop. But no, that's where Russell Crowe and Norman Freeman were fighting Robin Hood's oak tree at Sycamore Gap. Where they were hiding from the Germans or something. Something like that. I'm gonna go up there. I'm sure that's where I camped up there. I'm gonna go up this back up to the tree though. Norman Freeman, Russell Crowe. I thought it was just a prop. I thought they'd brought it in and took it away. But no, no, it's, it's actually real. It's less than a mile from my car park. Interesting fact. The mortar, the mortar that they used. I mean, this is 2,000 year old mortar. I test mortar now. And I know for a fact it wouldn't last that long. They used to put um, crushed oyster shells in. Used to get the oysters out the River Tyne. It's a kind of hike to the River Tyne from here, over that way. I suppose they had no better to do, did they? 
Um, yeah, I pulled some of it off. I just pulled the wall over. I was just leaning on it, like, and it fell. Be all right. Really nervous. Going up there now. Wow, this is steeper than you think. Oof. Flipping done for. That's where I pitched. That's where I camped around that wall. That's the back of that wall. So it was just there. It rained. The wind was howling. It was a miserable night. Hardly seen anything in the wall. There is a video up. But it's an old run. I think that was the last time I was here. Okay? Alright, I'm going to push on about another mile along. I'm not going to do a long walk. It's like doing the equivalent of a double walk when you're going up and down all the time. Whew! So out of shape. Go down there and I'll come back up. Yeah. Rock climbers use this place. Practice. You can see why, like, quite hairy. If you don't like heights, I wouldn't get uh, too near the edge. Whoosh. Nice little woody bit. I've just had a good deed for the day. I've done me good deed for the day. There was a family walking along, and the little girl had. Um, she had a foxglove plant in her hand. She was picking the flowers off it. So I stopped and told them. It was dangerous. You should have seen her throw it away, bless her. They're washing her hands now and that like, but oh, you're not meant to pick them. So I thought, I better say something. They didn't know. See, not everybody knows. Uh, sometimes me videos are daft, but other times you've got to pay attention. Deadly. Should probably be alright, like. Right, I've done a mile and a bit. About another mile to go, and then I'm going to just turn around and come back. Thick buggers, them Romans. This is the end of the line. This is where I turn back. Three miles in. House steads all the way down here. It's a big Roman fort. Well preserved, some of it, but it just looks like a lot of bricks, doesn't it? Look at it, man. House steads. I think you got paid to get in there. You could easily just nip over the fence. I'm sure anybody would know. Uh, so I'm going to head back. See if anything interesting along the way. Let's have a break first, I think. Just heading back. It's lovely here. Oh, it would be like, it'd be nice if it was like this all the way. All the way along. I mean, it's nice enough, but there's a hell of a drop over there as well. Lovely here. I like it. I like it. I think I'm actually on the wall. They've changed, they've turned the wall into a path. Over there, I don't know what we're way. The Pennine Way. Now, yeah, on the steep steps, steep steps of death, really steep. So, it's not a very long walk, three miles out, three miles back, six miles, but. With the terrain, the steps and that, I feel like I've walked up Scarfell Bloody Pike. It's hard. Up and down, a lot of up and down. Right, just gonna end it there. And then head down there, see if I can make it without smashing my neck up that little path to the car park was just there. Five pound paid for the car park, by the way. Number plate recognition. Right, hopefully out camping soon. Been trying for long enough. Be out soon. Wind.